Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Data Master. In this video, I am going to explain you how to add the external user to your Azure account and we are going to assign the role for that particular user and then we are going to give an access for our Azure Databricks. So we are going to see how do we give an access as I am the admin of one of the Azure account. I will show you how to begin with. So let me start guys. I have opened my Azure portal. So this is my new account, a free trial account. And I'm going to add an additional users to this account so that we can collaboratively work together and develop together. So let me search for the service called users. I'll just go to users list. And here I'll just add an external user you can see that I'll add and or invite an external user and I'll just write their email address so I'm using it for one of my other account now let me write it my account novel email .com. and I'll just write novel and I'll just click on review plus invite and let me click on invite so once I click on invite, I will be getting an invitation. So the Azure account, what I am using is on novel at the rate, the data master dot in, and it's no related to my personal account that is of Gmails. So I've just sent an invite and you can see that the invitation has been sent. So once your invitation has been sent for your personal email address, I mean my personal email address, I got an email from Azure. Let me show you. Yeah, so you can see I got a invitation from Microsoft Azure saying that someone has been invited to you. So you need to accept this invitation. So this is my personal email address. I'll just accept the invitation. Let me just click on accept. Yeah, once you click on accept, so it will ask you for the permission requested by the default directory and so on. Let me just click on accept. It will ask you to select your account. Let me select this account. Yeah, it will redirect you to the my apps. You can see your my apps and dashboard and so on. So this is how you can accept the invitation. So let me go back. So yeah, I am in my data master account here. I have invited my personal account for the user. Now the second step is I need to give a permission for the subscription. So second step is to assign the role so for that i'll just go to the subscription i have a free trial subscription now free trial subscription let me just get inside this and i'm going to go for access control i am roles and here i'm going to add a role assignment so this is more of the admin part guys so any enterprise would have your cloud admin or your databricks admin so he will take care of this but you should know like how the roles are given. So you can just go to role and here go for the privileged administrator role. So you can give owner access, you can give contributor access and you can give access review operator service role. But here we are going to give a role based access control administrator. So depending on that role, uh, we would give uh, access for that particular user. So after you click on next, it will ask you to select the members. So here, the member would be my personal account. So I'll just go to novel. You can see the guest here. Click on his personal account. Click on select. And after you give or select a member, go to the conditions. So here it will ask you that uh, there are two options what user can do. So allow users to only assign the selected roles to selected principles or allow users to assign all, all roles. This is highly privileged. So let me give you this now and go for review and assign so it will ask you for it will show you all the details just click on review and assign so with few minutes you will be assigning the role so meanwhile i'll just show you how the thing works on your azure portal so i am using my personal account now so it, you can imagine that it's your it's your user now an external user to whom you have sent an invitation let us let me show you how the things look here so once you log into your Azure account, you need to do one thing here. You need to go back to your accounts here. 
and click on switch directory guys so uh, assuming that you already have an azure storage account azure uh, account if you do not have you i want you to create your azure account and then once you come to portal.azure then you will see this page now you will click on switch directory so once you click switch directory you can see i am working on a few of the clients now now you can see here i got a default directory like i want to make this account as a default directory called navel the data master let me just click on switch and the moment i click on switch i will be redirecting to the new azure account or the free trial what i am been using for my data master you can see it here so here i it will not ask me any subscription and so on you can see here it is showing me all the available free credits and so on now i'll just go for the databricks here so i'll just type azure databricks and you can see azure databricks let me just get inside this and i can see one instance of data uh, uh, databricks is running here called data master let me just get inside this and let me check i can if i can open this okay so here i can i'll just launch the workspace let me select my account yeah it will fail guys it will say that the workspace you are trying to access does not exist in your azure region so your account uh, does not belong to any of the azure databricks workspace so that is where your second step comes into picture like you have to go for your azure databricks account for from your company's account then add the user in the list or you can add in the group then you give a permission for the workspace and then you can come back to this account here so what i'll do i'll just keep it aside and now i'll go to my azure azure databricks account from here so i click on it and you can see here so from here now i am the admin i can access all my accounts from the databricks you will see the manage account option here so once i click on it you will get this account console here okay so in account console you can manage the meta store you can manage all the workspaces users and all those things and one more thing guys now databricks when you get an azure databricks account you don't need to set up a catalog so cat i mean unity catalog unity catalog is by default enabled for the azure databricks now you don't need to worry about the access connectors enabling the unity catalog for your azure it you will get it by default and for this account i got it by default only now i'll just go to user management and here in the users list you can see you can click on the add user so let me add one user here i'll just put my email address navel yell email at the rate gmail.com and for the first i'll write first name and last name add it in the users group yeah, you can see navel yemul is one of the users group it's my personal email address now it's always good practice to create a group so let me create a group also so just add a group i'll say the group as data master engineers or a data engineers i'll just save it and i'll add the members to this group so i'll just search for navel yeah my personal email address so that i can add some more people in my list or i can just add it in the group okay so i have added a group also i have created a list also so here the second step is okay once you come to databricks add a user the second step is to add a permission to the workspace let me go back to the workspace and we have only one workspace running around so let me just enter inside that workspace and you can see the permissions tab let me just get inside this permission tabs and you can see that we have an user so let me add a permission to the group or to the particular user so i'll just search for the name here or i'll give it to the group so that when i add few people in my group i don't need to come back to this add permissions here so i want to give the all my engineers and here you get an option called user or the admin let me keep it just as a user and click on save click on save and now all the people those who are in this group will get an access for your databricks workspace so now if you go back to your personal account or the external user you would just refresh this or you can just go back and launch the workspace once again yeah now you can see here once i launch the workspace i would get inside my azure databricks and you can see that okay cool so what i'll do i'll go back to my company's account here 
so i'll go back i have already added the group for the workspace permissions i'll go back then i can give the come to the workspace here inside your databricks account and here you can see the users and i can find my personal email address here so the people those who i have added like external users or the organization users i can find them all here so we all can collaboratively work together uh, and i if you want to reduce the cost and minimize the cost so i want you to create a cluster and give a permission to use that cluster also let me do one thing let me create a compute i'll keep it very minimum guys so i'll go for the single node and i'll go for the shared access so okay when you switch to the shared access you they want us to use a multi node so let me use a multi node i'll go for the shared access mode and i'll keep i'll just remove this photon acceleration and i'll keep a minimum worker node as one as one you can see that one and i'll use a inactivity termination time as 30 minutes to keep it minimum yeah this would be the minimum cost that is 1.5 dbu per hour you can check the pricing what does dbu stands for databricks units and so on let me click on create compute so i want all my users to use the same cluster so you can just go to just go to more and go to permissions in permissions tab you can just click on the group name my group name is data master engineering and you can give a permission like you can manage it you can restart it and you can attach it so i'll just give a permission to restart it so that you can start the cluster at any time you want you can restart it you can terminate it and so on let me just add this and permissions and click on save so once your cluster is up and running anyone who is in the users list can use the same cluster so you can collaboratively work together guys yeah so that's all about how you can set up the Uh, external user to your azure account and your azure databricks account i have added the users list added a permission to the workspace and we have given a permission to the cluster thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like the content please do like it share it and support us thank you guys see you in the next video bye bye